Surfing for science. It may seem far-fetched, yet it's exactly how Dr. Bob Bruin of the Plymouth Marine Laboratory is pioneering a new technique in satellite oceanography. By equipping his surfboard with a device called a smart fin, Bob can measure sea surface temperature and motion of coastal waters with his smartphone. Later, Bob can use the smart fin data he's gathered to better interpret Sentinel-3 satellite data. The Sentinel satellites are part of the Copernicus program, the most ambitious Earth observation program worldwide. It delivers satellite data for a wide range of services and applications. The Sentinel-3A and 3B satellites are primarily focused on our oceans, which cover more than three quarters of the Earth's surface and are paramount for all life on Earth. Using the three instruments on board, the satellites gather information on ocean color, water quality, changes in sea level, and most important for Bob's research, sea surface temperature. The temperature in the ocean is a fundamental component um, of our seas. It controls the physical environment through changes in uh, density together with salinity, controls coastal currents. It's also a fundamental component of uh, marine biology. The growth and reproduction rates of many organisms in the ocean are temperature dependent. It also controls the chemical uh, uh, reaction rates in the ocean. How gases transfer between the atmosphere and the ocean is temperature dependent. In situ data gathered by scientists like Bob is extremely important as it complements and helps to verify data provided by the Sentinel satellites. For example, the temperature of coastal waters is difficult to measure from space, though they have very high levels of marine biodiversity. So scientists find new and innovative ways to increase the number of in situ measurements in these waters, for instance with the smart fin with which surfers and other water sport enthusiasts can gather data while enjoying their hobby. But the Sentinel-3 data can also be used for other types of research. In the Eurohab project, the data is combined with in situ measurements to study harmful algal blooms, or HABs, at sea. The satellite captures a broad view of the production of phytoplankton. With the in situ measurements, we'll be able to go further and explain which species were seen by the satellite and to identify the species which are toxic. Although the project researchers can only go out to sea once every two weeks, they can rely on the Sentinel-3 data which is accurate and delivered to the users on a daily basis. And while the scientists can cover only small parts of the seas, satellite data covers the entire planet. By combining satellite data with the measurements at sea, patterns detected can be more easily explained and new applications can be tested. Like here in Plymouth, where a team of scientists is checking in situ data with satellite images to see whether they can detect plastic and garbage accumulation in the oceans from space. Well, at the moment we're just uh, making an assessment of uh, what would we need to look at from space, to be able to detect plastics. Uh, we are going to do a horizon scanning exercise with all the technologies that are available for Earth, from Earth observation. And uh, we are considering uh, mainly, because that's our expertise, optical methods. But then we are also considering uh, uh, other remote sensing methods, like SAR, uh, and as well indirect approaches like uh, current measurements that transport plastic in the ocean. Within the European Union's Copernicus program, ESA continues to offer key Earth observation data for the Copernicus services, science and research, providing almost real-time information on the health of our planet.